This episode of Techzilla is brought to you by Domain.com. We got a message on Twitter from Wyman Sung. He said, at Techzilla, is there a good Wi-Fi router for a Wi-Fi crowded area? My Wi-Fi drops speed, but wired stays strong at night. And that is why I have Ethernet running to everything I can that. run it to in my house. It just works really fast all the time. But seriously, Woot. how do you do it? <laughs> well, you run Ethernet cable everywhere. And if you can't, look, one, it's good to know it's not the internet slowing down in the evenings. That would be a problem with your ISP's capacity, and the only way to fix that is to get a new ISP or to call in line at your ISP. But generally speaking, the only way you get faster internet is to switch ISPs. Um, I, too, have lived in an area where I can pick up dozens, if not hundreds, of wireless routers. Buying a new router is, is almost never the first thing I'd try, partially because I'm cheap and partially because a lot of times <laughs> the problems can't be fixed with just a router. There's not a lot of point in spending a pile of cash on the latest 802.11. That AC router, or 802.11 AC router, if everything in your house is running 802.11G or N, right? You don't want to buy a bunch of adapters or run multiple sort of splitting things across different networks. There are just so many tricks you can play with routers. Michael and I have contemplated an entire Die Tryon episode dedicated just to hacking your router because there's about Ooh. 30 million things you can do. Here are the first three things I would try first. One, and you already got this, put everything you can on Ethernet or Powerline. Ethernet or Powerline uh, networking will not be impacted by everything else going on. There's no issues with 2.4 gigahertz microwaves or wireless phones or your neighbor doing something weird with, you know, because the problem with like 2.4 gigahertz, it's the open bandwidth. The FCC said, <laughs> jump it up, just great. Microwaves, 2.4 gigahertz random it's remote true. controls for your it just it's crazy right it's the mm -hmm. junked up sector so Second thing you should do is optimize your router position. If you don't have to have your router in the location it is, experiment with moving it around your house because it's amazing. I've been in places where moving a router three feet or rotating it made radical differences in its performance. Those silly little, you know, yes. aluminum foil on, on a piece of cardboard bent behind a router, I've seen it increase signal by 30%. That is a big deal. I kind of have a story for you. It's short and sweet. Okay. Uh, Darren has a friend who said, my iPhone can't pick up my wireless signal. Signal. How do I fix this? And he said, is your router laying down? She said, yes. He said, put it upright. It's because of the antenna position. Mm -hmm. The antenna was facing the wrong way, and the antennas were not going omnidirectional like they're supposed to. Lots of antenna issues. It sounds silly, but it's free, and you can try it out in 30 seconds. Yeah. Third, use the clearest channel you can find. What do I have here? iStumbler, this is running on OS X. Um, what you need is some software that analyzes all the Wi-Fi going on in your neighborhood. So this is the, the office building we're in, and this is actually less than we would usually pick up, right? But the information you're looking for is, so this is telling us our signal to noise ratio, higher is better, and let's go over here. Channel 11. You notice that we're on channel 11? Okay, there's a couple other things there, but what you want to find is a channel that everybody else is not on already. That's kind of a big deal. If everybody in your neighborhood is on channel 6, and I've seen this where there were 30 routers on like channel 6 in, in the surrounding sort of block around my house, use another channel. It is amazing what just jumping around to a different frequency will do. Um, more ideas on this, and I know you guys have ideas you want to tell us about, so email us techzilla at risen3.com and put speed up router in the headline. And by the way, uh, you know, uh, Wyman, if you do have a router that came like built into your cable modem, that is an issue where I, I would actually think about replacing your router and uh, uh, there's a lot of love for the Asus and the TP-Link routers right yes. now. Those are kind of my two favorite brands right now. A lot of my friends run an Asus. We're running TP-Link here on the set and in our testing lab. Um, it's good stuff. I love my Asus router at home. I replaced my cable modem slash router with mm -hmm. one, and oh my gosh, I haven't had any problems. It's amazing. So yes. yeah, maybe upgrading your hardware is a good idea, but try the free stuff first mm -hmm. if you want to. It's there for you. So, coming up on Techzilla, we have plenty of fun things, including how to track your mileage awards in a really easy place. But before we do, it's time to thank one of our sponsors. If you haven't yet, you should really try out Domain.com. It's one-stop shopping for all of your domain name and web hosting needs. They are awesome! Domain.com's simple search quickly shows you available domain names and web hosting options, making it easy to select the domain extension and hosting plan that's right for you. It has a really easy checkout that smooths the process, erases the hassle, and it keeps you from saying, huh, how does this thing work? And the folks at Domain.com are hooking you up. At checkout, use the coupon code TECHZILLA for 20% off your purchase. That's an amazing offer.